Okay, I'll be honest with you guys, I hate vacuuming. It's not my favorite thing to do. It's not the actual vacuuming that's hard. It's trying to lug this heavy thing up the stairs. This thing weighs a million pounds. I have no clue why it weighs so much, but as I try to pull it down the stairs, I fail miserably, and I'm just gonna go ahead and take a nap here right now. I wonder if there's a small lightweight vacuum I could just stick in my pocket and pick up that Cheerio mess I made. I mean, my daughter made. She made the mess, I promise. She did it, I didn't do anything. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Nathan here, Roll Master as well. If you guys miss me, I miss you guys. You guys are awesome. Alright, so we got a brand new robot vacuum. Look at this guy, isn't this amazing? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Is that the new A10 from Alex? Let me have a look here. Huh? What? This doesn't look like the A10. What are you doing here, Nathan? I'm out of here. I don't want to deal with this nonsense. Alright, I guess Buckles is mad at me. Alright, before we begin, make sure you like and subscribe to my video. Um. Nope, that's embarrassing. Shh. Hold on one second. There we go. Yep, like and subscribe to my video. Please just help out this video. Get, get out of there. Alright, thank you, Bob Shark. The Eason M50 by Our Life. A uh, very cool little handheld vacuum cleaner. And just as this cleaner, I want to thank Our Life for sending me out this product in exchange for reviews. So you guys are awesome. So thanks so much. Okay, so right off the bat, I really like this colorful box. Very nice colorful box. A lot of great details. And if we look at the specifications here, looks like we're at around 1500 thousand pascals also has 32 minutes of uh, run time and it has that usb type c charging so very very nice oh hey guys how's it going well you're probably wondering what am i doing in the back of my trunk here well i was looking for some dust mites and there's a bunch i haven't cleaned this car in like forever but luckily i got the eason m50 and what's one nice thing about this guy since i don't have a usb port back here in my trunk i got my little uh Purple power bay. The back here is a USB C type charger, so all you have to do is just plug in a good cable here. And you can see it starts charging. So, very handy little device, and it can also charge up front using that uh, USB port as well. I like that. Alright, I'm going to continue cleaning up my car. I'll be back. So, uh, see you later, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and get this guy opened up and see how well this little handheld stick vacuum does. Open up this tap here, open up the flappy lid, and let's see what's in here. Alright. Whoa, cool, it's like a magic wand thingy. Get this plastic thing out of here. Oh, whoa. Hope I didn't break this thing. Look at how tiny this little dustbin is. This thing is super cute. Wow, it's like a miniature. Look at that, it's so cute. And you got this tiny little button here. Whoa. Wow, I'm, I'm really amused. I can do this all day long. Wow, that's amazing. So, guys. This is cool. Uh, looks like we got some exhaust fins right here, and we got a battery indicator right here, charging contacts, and this is the suction port. And there's some nice little instructions right there, and some warning information right there. Wow, this is really neat. And there's that USB Type C charging. So yeah, I think any uh, five volt USB charger should do, and just gives you a USB uh, cable. So if you have any modern smartphone, this thing should work, and you got your uh, power button right here. Mmm, we go to Starbucks, you can't go on that, that's the best. Okay, so with the included uh, USB Type-C cable that comes with the vacuum, uh, you can either get a DC uh, USB outlet, you can get them for like 5 bucks at Walgreens, or if you have a modern car, they actually include a USB port somewhere around here. All you have to do is just plug it in. Most cars these days, you have to be in accessory mode, or if you're driving, you can actually charge up your stick vacuum. Uh, this makes a great uh, companion for your car. Um, one downside is I wish Eason included like a bag because it does come with a couple of accessories and I have no uh, where to put them. Maybe I should stick them um, maybe on top of my dash there. Maybe I can stick it here. How's that? Yep. I'm glad that the Civic has a nice little uh, cubby for you to stick back. So I'm good to go. Alright, so one thing I noticed about I like products is they have bright orange with this kind of like gray black color screen. Very nice. So it makes it really easy for the user to figure out how to work this thing. Basically, turn it on, and you can see that. I can feel the air, and you got your indicator right there. Wow, I got to use this as a fan. Very, very nice. And shut it off. So it looks like there's uh, two modes, uh, low and high power. That's what all I have to do is just start from the top here, and it's just slide it, and then there's like a little gray button right here, just kind of push up, and it should... Let's get the tiny dustbin in, it's uh, pretty simple to do. There's an uh, inner port right there, and it's very nice little uh, handheld stick back and nothing to it. And it feels probably maybe 2 or 3 pounds, so you can easily take this to the car, maybe to your study, your office, clean out the keyboard, 
get their chairs off the uh, couch, whatever it may be. So I like this thing. All right, let's see what else is included. So it looks like we got a little power adapter for converter, so very, very nice. So I'll just dump it out. Oh, wow, oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Oh. Alright, so there's the boxy thing. Get that out of here, boxy thing. Plastic baggy thing. More plastic baggies. Got a power cable. Alright, baggy things. Get out of here, baggy things. So cool, this is nice little uh, USB-C cable with the regular USB uh, Type-A adapter. Very nice. Uh, warranty, very nice. Got the warranty here. And look at that, guys. I don't think that's what I got, but that's kind of funny. They actually show a stick vacuum instead of the handheld vacuum. But nice uh, warranty there, so good job. And guys, make sure you read the instructions. It's very important. Gives you a lot of permanent information about the, how to use the stick vacuum. So. Take hours and hours to read that. You know how I am. I like to read these instructions. Okay, so looks like we got this foamy thing. Uh, what is this? Like a nose guard? I guess when you go to sleep, you can put this on and cover yourself. I have no clue. All right, so wow, this is kind of cool. Got like a little. It's just like a tiny little vacuum. Check that out. That's really slip on right there. Okay, here we go. Let's see if it sucks up this stuff. Yeah, it seems like it's working. Cool, can I suck up this bag? Let's try it. Yep, seems to suck up the bag. In there. Seems like it's pretty strong suction. Oh, I probably broke already. Well, this little tool did great on the carpet and also the upholstery of the like, couches and stuff. So if you made that spill, we know who you are. We all make a spill, so don't deny it. Uh, this tool is great for that. So here's the nice docking station. Um, should just stock right in here. And you got your charging contacts right there. Just match them up and it slots right in there. Okay, so for the docking station, you actually have a separate power adapter that support the 100 to 240 volts. So one nice thing is there's actually the uh, a power adapter that plugs right in here. Can you see that? Just kind of plug in right there. And you just wrap the cable in the back here. And it should make a nice uh, clean setup. Very, very nice. Cool. So you can go around and get some other stuff. So very cool. All right. So I like the fact that they include both options. You can charge with the docking station. You can charge directly to the vacuum itself. Um, and then in the back here, you can actually install your tools. There's the other tool. And it actually gets inserted right in the back there. See that? Very nice. So it's a nice clean setup. Oh, hey Sparkles. Whoa, that's a cool hat. Let me check that out. Wow, that's really amazing. Check out uh, Sparkles' new hat. It's pretty cool. Actually, this is an extra air filter. So cool. Comes with uh, two air filters. All right, thanks Sparkles. All right, I gotta go actually review this thing before I get in trouble with the company. All right, I'll be right back. Oh, hey man, don't forget about me. Hey, Nathan, I know where you sleep, so don't forget about me. Where are you going there, buddy? Okay, so the first order of business, my car really needs a cleaning. Probably haven't cleaned it ever since I bought it, which was like five years ago. Yeah, that's pretty bad. All right, so this little handheld vacuum is great because of the portability. It only weighs like 1.43 pounds, so it's easy to maneuver, and I was able to get all the crumbs off my carpets. Also on that seat, don't notice that stain there. That's pretty gross. All right, I'm going to have to shampoo my car as well. I like the fact that the handheld vacuum creates a bright LED light, great for those small areas where it's kind of dark and hard to see. So no longer do I have to wheel a smartphone in the right hand and the cordless vacuum in my left hand. Well, what do you guys think? Did it do a good job? I think it picked up a fair amount. So this guy's designed for small areas. You can see that the dustbin is quite small. I do appreciate it's clear. And one weird thing is I don't see a fill indicator. I guess I can just fill it to the top. Even on slow power, it's pretty quiet and it does a pretty good job picking up stuff. Well, I guess this is the next best thing if you don't have a built-in shop back like on a new minivan. Well, it looks like I missed a few bits, probably because of my lack of vacuuming skills. Alright, I kept going around my house. Went ahead and cleaned up my keyboard there. Also, I cleaned up my uh, piano bench. Yeah, I don't know how this stuff just accumulates everywhere.
So I found out the canister is pretty easy to remove with that black button there. And once you remove the canister, just press the orange button. You may notice that some of the dirt and debris kind of spilled out. So just be careful. There's a little flap, but sometimes that flap gets stuck open. So uh, just be careful uh, when you're emptying out the canister. The canister itself is washable and also the filter. And once you wash it, just let it air dry for about 24 hours and you should be good to go. Okay, that's going to wrap this video. I'll give you my final thoughts about the M50. Hopefully, I do recommend it. It's a pretty good uh, cordless stick vacuum. It's pretty lightweight. I believe it's like 0 0.65 kilograms or 1.433 pounds. And the battery life is pretty good. I've been able to do multiple cleaning sessions at one battery charge. I do like the fact that I can charge in the car with the included uh, USB Type-C cable. Uh, one downside is I wish they included like a little uh, USB charge as well. But a nice little plus. Uh, I know everyone has USB uh, power bricks, but it's just been an added bonus. Also, since it does come with a couple accessories, which I'm dropping already, um, I would recommend they include like a bag next time. It'd be nice to put everything together when you carry it in the car, but that's just a minor gripe. Okay, so I do like the fact that the canister can get removed with this black button here. And once you remove the canister, everything's washable. Um, the filter, the uh, black housing, and also the actual canister itself. And you just let it air dry for 24 hours. So to remove the air filter, all you have to do is just pull up on this black part and give it a twist on the silver uh, mechanism here. What do they call this? The canister? I have no clue. And then just pull out the filter itself. I like does include uh, two filters, so it's nice that once you wash this filter, you can swap out for the other one and vice versa. Okay, so um, I do recommend it. Uh, I think for what it is, just for that like uh, quick jobs for the car, the RV, or for the office, I think the Eason M50 is not a bad product. I will put a uh, discount coupon down below. Uh, so thanks so much for watching again. Like and subscribe to my channel. Please just help out this video and stay tuned because I got a lot of great products, a lot of cool world vacuums coming down the pipeline. All right, you guys have a great rest of your day. I'll see you guys next time. Adios.